latest updates for Pixel devices have been released and it's even earlier than usual. It's great to see that Google is working hard to keep our devices secure. There have been some delays in the past, but this time it is even before Samsung. So to get the update, all you need to do is go to your device's system settings and then system update. The update for Pixel 4a is around 10.53 MB and it's mostly contains security patches and minor bug fixes. It's always a good idea to keep your device up to date with the latest security patches to ensure that your data and personal information are protected. You can check all the details on this page and I have also shared the link in the description. I found some bugs and also mentioned in my previous video like in one handed mode I still can't scroll to the end of the screens. There is also something Google fixed very quickly. Recently, I noticed that YouTube's premium feature of background play had started working for me and I was thrilled to see the picture in picture view. However, it seems that Google has fixed this bug now and unfortunately, I'm not happy with the fix. You can check that out in uh, shots I created. This is the first time I've been disappointed with a bug fix. This time there are some fixes and improvements like improvements for touch screen response in certain conditions, fix for issue occasionally causing lock screen UI elements to overlap with home screen launcher interface. I haven't noticed any of these. I've noticed that the camera app along with a few other apps now supports the predictive back animation. So I've made a list of these apps on the screen for your reference. Another change that I've noticed recently is in YouTube app. When sharing a video, you can now see a create post option, which allows you to share any video as a post on YouTube. Uh, this feature is quite useful as it enables you to create a post using any one of your older videos. So next I'll be monitoring if there are any changes in terms of system or battery performance and we'll keep you posted if there is anything good or bad. That's all I had to share about the May updates for now. My name is Sushant and I'll be keeping you updated on the latest tech news and updates. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching The Way I See Things.